and now I'm going to show you how I'm stripping the ears. That is probably one thing that I find the easiest. Um, so the ears should be the tips of the ears, one third or about a thumb down. Yeah, okay. Like this on the tip of the ear uh, should be stripped away. And now it's a little bit, yeah, maybe three weeks since I stripped it, uh, like all the way down the tips and it still looks good or it's been growing out. So I could go on a show with her like this, uh, but normally we are stripping the ears down 10 days before a show or two weeks before a show. So they are not completely uh yeah they they have some hair on the uh ears but if you are not having it then i would just take it when you feel like it um so then um you can maybe see here it's some longer parts and then here it's the stripped part. Then I've been stripping it all the way down and also on the inside. And also it's really nice to just take also the strip the ear, uh, hairs inside of the ears. So it's not getting that infected, but they are upstanding ears. So it's not a big problem in general for the upstanding ears. So then I'm just stripping. Here I have some longer parts. Try to focus. Wait. Thank you, Julie. Hard with a dog that is not sitting still. But it's one here. A few here that is like a little bit longer. You can see it once on the outside there. So I would strip it completely down to the skin. This is probably one of the hardest, they're like it's sort of easiest, but also the hardest. It can be really hard for your um, fingers to strip so therefore some are using this is just some baby powder um, so you are just putting some baby powder in it to get more grip so it's easier to strip the whole ear she really wants to treat yeah okay Yeah, so this is how I'm stripping the ears. I'm not showing you, but I think it's self-explanatory. 